I know Raptor fans' emotions are all over the place tonight watching Kyle Lowry get signed and traded and then figuring out, oh, we'll get Dragic and, and pressure to chew it back. Well, considering we, think, we thought we were getting him for nothing, not bad. And then we're like, oh, we signed Gary Trent Jr. As you can tell from the title, the Raptors re-signed the RFA restricted free agent Gary Trent Jr. to a three-year, $54 million contract. And I think you speak for every Raptor fan when I'm saying, okay, good. The amount of misery that we were dealing with over the last couple hours or so, you hear that Gary Trent is coming back with the Toronto Raptors for at least a couple more seasons, and that's great news. And the reason I say a couple more seasons is because that third year is a player option. If he exceeds expectations and everything goes great for him, becomes a star in the league, you know, he could ask for more money, and he can decline the player option in the third year and then figure everything out after that. But either way, He's a Toronto Raptor for at least the next couple seasons. And they're all, the Raptors organization seems to be on that bet on yourself sort of mentality uh, over the course of all the contracts they dish out. So the fact that it was only, you know, if you want to take away the third year because the player options, only a two year contract, bet on yourself, Gary Trent. You're 22 years old. He put up some great numbers last season. I mean, he averaged what, 16.2 points a game, 39% from the field, 35% from three, 80% from the line. And he is a career 39.3 three point shooter. So he can spot up and shoot the three. And for this year, for the Toronto Raptors, it's going to be very interesting to watch this team play. It really is. Because Fred Van Vliet has just been given the reins as the starting point guard. Gary Tread Jr. has more or less been given the reins as the starting shooting guard. OG, well, you know he's at the three always. Pascal at the four, Barnes at the five. Like, what are you going to do with things like that? There's a lot of minute moving parts and you just get pressure to chew up from the uh, Miami Heat. So it's going to be a very weird rest of the offseason. And start to the year is going to look a lot different, Raptor fans. I'm telling you, without your core general there... It's going to be very, very weird. And I had to put the jersey back up there. I had to turn it around. Usually I have the Raptors logo with number seven, but I had to put that up there with Kyle Lowry's name there because this day is really for him. But back to Gary Trent Jr., I really believe this guy can turn a corner this season. I mean, with the development staff the Raptors have and with, with, the, with the personnel the Raptors have in the court and him coming back to Toronto, we, we talked about it last year, how you come back here, you have the fans here, you heard last season, guys, how, how how guys like Chris Boucher came out and said, you know, oh, what's the what's the one thing you're going to remember about, you know, being at Tampa? The plane ride back to Toronto, he said. I mean, you could clearly tell it was weighing on these guys not being in Toronto. And it sucks that Lowry's last game was not in Toronto. But either way, Gary Trent Jr., who when he got traded here, clearly saw that he was wanted here. And he even said in, the, in, the, in an interview that, you know, he feels wanted for the first time in his career. He feels like this team, this, this fan base, this, the organization, they actually want him here. And what does he decide to do then? He goes out there and I go walking into the arena for a game. He's repping a Leafs jersey, repping a Ra uh, Blue Jays jersey. And we're like, okay, I think we absolutely love this guy already. You know? And then you bring, you bring him up to the city. And you bring him up to play at Scotiabank Arena? The fans will love this guy to death if he plays well. Raptor fans, I think I can speak for all of us when I say, look, if you if you are on the Toronto Raptors and you you are a damn good player, we will treat you like a god. But if you don't, we will treat you like garbage. That, that's just kind of the way it works. But for Gary Trent Jr., you were traded for Norman Powell. A fan favorite, Norman Powell. But what does he do? What does he? Because everyone's kind of at that point where they're like, like Norman Powell, like, oh, we missed Norm. That's not. anyway. We do have Gary Trent Jr. The numbers are okay. Oh, he's wearing a Leafs jersey and a Jays jersey going into the game. Oh, he dropped the buzzer beater on the Wizards, and he's dropped forty something his career high. Okay, we like this guy. And Raptor fans, look, there were some games last year where Gary Trent Jr. shot like 1 of 13, like something like that. And we're like, man, that's the 22-year-old coming out of him, right? You bring him up to Toronto with this coaching staff for a full season, a full off season. Look out. Gary Trent Jr. could turn the corner this year and turn to something really, really special. Now, obviously, only time is going to tell. 
But for the Toronto Raptors, as I mentioned, and I'm going to wrap it up here. I didn't want to make it too long because this is more or less for you guys to comment down below your thoughts on the signing. Where do you think he fits in the team? All that stuff. This team is going to look really different next year. Very weird. Very, very new. It's going to just not feel right for a while without that man there. Because there's going to be a lot of pieces. You're going to be waiting for charges to be taken. They're not going to be taken. You're going to be pulling your hair out. And it's just... <sighs> Either way, Raptor fans, Gary Trent Jr. is back for three more seasons at the very least. Or two more seasons at the very, very least. And they were all jacked up to have him back. Raptor basketball is going to be continuing. Whether this team is... They're not in rebuild mode. That's pretty obvious. But it seems like retool mode with bring, with letting Kyle Lowry go and re-signing Gary Trent Jr. and bringing in a pressure to chew and stuff like that. They're more or less in a retool mode, let, let alone a rebuild. Now, is that a good thing? Should they go on full rebuild mode? That's obviously the question that everyone's going to ask. But with all, with all the contracts they've been dishing out the last couple seasons to Fred, Pascal, OG, now Gary Trent Jr. for a couple more years, you're kind of in that stage of, hey, we're going to try and continue to compete and contend. Now, whether that, you're not, I, the, the odds of you going back for a chip, I don't know. The way that the, the Brooklyn Nets are looking, I just I just don't know how that's going to happen. But, hey, that's why we play the sport of basketball, right? So, you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this small video. Smack that like button if you guys enjoyed this one. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. Your thoughts on the signing of Gary Trent Jr. Do you like the deal? Do you not like the deal? Too much? Not enough? Not enough term? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments below, guys. Twitter is down below for myself. Follow me, Demi, Demi, like, Grade 7. By the way... Because Portland Trailblazers traded Gary Trent Jr. for Norman Powell. And Norman Powell is a free agent now. And if he doesn't re-sign there, they basically traded him for what? Uh, a play-in series? I mean, that's pretty bold. <laughs> that's a pretty bold move. And if you look back at it now, Raptor, Raptor fans, we're all going to say, well, Masai Ujiri's a wizard. Yet in the moment, everyone's freaking out saying, Masai, you're an idiot. So, <laughs> Masai knows what he's doing. The Raptors got Gary Trent. They signed him for a few more years. Great stuff. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Twitter is down below for myself. Follow up. Send me a that great stuff. The Instagram link is down below. So follow up there. If you have not done so already, and I will talk to you guys. Jay's edition in game two of the four game set against the Cleveland Indians tomorrow night. 707 first pitch there at Rogers Center. Hyunjin Ryu against Zach Plezak is a pitching matchup in game two. All right. So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoy the video. And we'll talk to you guys. If the Raptors can do any more signings, I'll talk to you guys then.